Women of the USA, the UK, and Canada, do our governments fairly represent a woman's point of view? There are many ways in which women can represent the interests of men and men can represent the interests of women. But there are other ways in which each of the sexes experiences the world differently. And to exclude half of your brains, half of your capacity from the most important function, which is the setting of rules by which the whole society has to live, is really nuts. Almost all laws affect women in a way that's different than men. But in most cultures, leadership is gendered masculine. When you're a woman on the front lines of democracy, you gotta just wonder how much worse a brand would be. This is a war. There is a long history of quotas, really, in this country. Some people argued before 97 that the introduction of a women's shortlist would be demeaning to women candidates and that they would be treated differently in Parliament and that they wouldn't be respected. Actually, now, all these years later, nobody remembers who was an all women's shortlist candidate and who wasn't. Here's Canada's Liberal leader in 2008. He has a lot of women in his caucus. Is it 50%? No. Nope. Our Conservative Prime Minister. Look, he has almost all women elected in his caucus. Is it 70%? A lot of people are still very dissatisfied. Male politicians can, can get away with a lot more. It infuriates me. You're damned if you do and damned if you don't. We just want to be recognized for the work we do, for the value of our work. How do you say, oh, it's okay not to have women there? It's not okay. Sorry, honey. Yeah. It's not okay at all. Yeah.